hey guys Jamie here of ready set rome and here we are in south miami in um what's it on we're on south dixie highway um which is close to pinecrest area in miami and we're visiting vintage liquor store also known as well, i guess that's the name right vintage liquors there's several different locations but this is the one that i'm near to today there's one over in midtown i think there's one over in brickler as well i'll clarify for you later on but here we are here we go into vintage liquor store down here in miami hey guys ready set rum here and i'm gonna bring you through some of the rums there are at vintage liquor so we got the caliche puerto rican rum the trigo we got rondel berrito which is like the two star the three star um i love the four star that they have which is pretty expensive but these are pretty good too definitely worth the pick up then we got havana club puerto rican version um very good prices here um then we got bacardi the four the select barrel which are always kind of like collector's items we got the the sherry cast eight here and we have the eight and the 37 now this eight here is a one liter whereas this eight here is a regular 750. all right then we got the 16 year and the lemon taro then we got the black strap basically which they call black they got this the white superior then they got gold then you come down here and they got the flavors all right you got the lemon the lime and here we have don q which has become one of my favorites all out of puerto rico all right the old bottle to this which is a really nice bottle i reviewed it already this kind of like the replacement uh a different blend but similar taste profile the seven is a steel and then we have like the sherry finish they got the 2009 which is a crazy cheap price like i've seen people sell it for 100 bucks so definitely that is something i may pick up today then we got the 151 i have one of those we got the gold they got the white and then they got the flavor similar to bacardi over here you know just more flavors 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 all right the white all the other flavors here and you got bacardi flavors and oh, oh yeah just one i don't recognize only one one don q flavor really all right just one don q flavor um and then the rest are all bacardi flavors and then down below you got the bacardi mixers all right the bacardi the the cocktails right the bacardi cocktails right here wow there's a i didn't never see a mai tai there's a captain morgan mai tai long island and tropical punch i don't know how i trust captain morgan the bacardi ones have been pretty decent for me um, you know, you head into the beach, you don't want to mix up anything else, you pick those up. I don't know, it's Castillo, never saw that one before. And then there's the Paulo V, which I think is Puerto Rican rum as well. Alright, so let's switch over to the other side. And here we got some, let's start from the top. We got Big Five rum, Pompero, Diplomatico, Santa Teresa, Vizcava, Zaya, Zaya, sorry from Trinidad. This is one of the new ones they just brought out, 16 year. Uh, honestly, I don't know, not, this virus is pretty flipping sweet, man. Like I just never liked it, it was just too sweet. This one, never tried it as yet. It's a Kappa, I reviewed that one already. Then they got the Negra Edition, Zafra. I haven't tried the Zafra as yet, but I very much need to. Yo, these guys, sorry. My, my camera handling skills is pretty bad because I feel like I I wasn't showing you guys everything properly there but they have the RLCs for the best price best price I've seen in South Florida less than 40 bucks to the 12 year old RL seals then they got the the Dictador and they got some um, Ron Centerio 9 2025 El Dorado oh, kind of pricey in the El Dorado there um, yeah, I think I could get Eldorado a bit cheaper. But the price on the Dos Maduros 5 plus 3 is excellent. And then they have this with a, a mock kind of thing there. That's very good. Um, definitely something to give away. Like a gift. I love buying these things as gifts and giving it to others for people's birthdays, stuff like that. Definitely, that's a good one. And then the 5 plus 5. 
and then they have the selection which is also a good one then we get to the angus tura rums so they have the five the white the five the seven 1919 19, sorry the number one for 110 and then they got the 1824 for 71 dollars and definitely in all of this line up here i will pick up the white oak and i'll pick up probably the number seven great prices um, on those two all right then we continue with the the um, Pusser's rum i think got some plantations here um the fiji is definitely a good pickup for me wow that pineapple was that a one liter or something man that pineapple went up in price that used to be almost the same price as the fiji and then you have the um the overproof from plantation then you get into the bamboo rums uh, it's all right it's i won't i won't pick those up typically um honestly the best thing out of the bamboo lander for me is the exo uh, then you have the facundos pretty good price on the facundos here and then they start getting into tequila so, so let's shift down to the other line and then you have the copali the copali i've tried that and i review i give a little quick um my my thoughts on it when i did the review of the uh what do you call that when we went to the miami congress the copali was there i've never seen this before south borodino island where is that is that oh japanese japanese rum 40 percent definitely i have one japanese in my collection right now i need to review that i'll let you guys know what that is then you have the baba and Ku, which is always a great pickup great prices then you have the banks five and the bank seven the banks five is my favorite white rum at the moment i just love how nice and sweet that tastes no sugar added from what i understand just a great blend of rums and it writes it even has a cocktail here for the five island from mingo very great rum there then we got Kraken, sailor jerry you know the cheap stuff that everyone kind of likes it's some of the mass market stuff right here uh captain morgan then we come down here and we have the Macambo. I have one of these already. I don't know why I haven't reviewed it as yet. Definitely. And the price is excellent. 33, 34 bucks is a great price on that one. Then they got the Bertrand, the Bertrand 18, 15. And we got Coconut Cartel. This one here is our favorite in my office. Everyone, I, I, I had bottles of these things and they drank it out so quick compared to every other rum i brought to the office these thing goes like <laughs> it's like water man trust me like this one here for someone not getting to rum coconut cartel is the one and uh, let's see so this is batch seven they just brought up batch eight slight slight differences in each batch um i definitely gotta do a review on some of the batches that i have at my house right now and let you guys know that taste then this is selection Canobier. i never heard of this before it says French finished in French oak barrels. Product from Barbados. Product from Barbados. I wonder which distillery is that. Then in France, is this who, who who is doing this? Who is doing this? What is this from? What is this bottle? Like where is this bottle from? Who is the distillery? Uh I don't know, we gotta do some more research on this. Selection Canubier, Caribbean rum, imported from Caribbean rum, finished in French oak. On the back here it says product of Barbados, bottled in France. It's like a plantation. Someone was doing a plantation kind of thing there. Then you got a Ron Cam Catasamel. Could never say that one, could never say that one, but you know, that's a pretty common one. They got their versions there seems like they got some deals here going on um then you got hyper pilots another popular one young company pretty sweet rum pretty you know but definitely easy to to give to friends and stuff that kind of stuff i've gifted those the sweeter rums honestly i usually gift them just because i know people just love the sweet stuff then come down here we have the santa teresa's we got the rum barcelo organic which is pretty good um paper stock oil i can't remember what they use for the stock on this packaging but 
everything is kind of like within the organic realm no chemicals like no you know things that are against the the environment then you have florida kenya another typical stuff um captain morgan malibu cruiser don papa that thing is tastes so weird to me honestly tea is kind of like a soda or something like that not my kind of thing at all um chairman's reserve i've never tried the lower end chairman's reserve i don't know why you know so my my, my everything in my my house i got the appleton eat everywhere it's in my decanter it's in everything 15 is one of my favorites 70 dollars to the 15 is a must buy you guys the 15 year is my absolute favorite of the appleton lineup then they got the EXO triple cars. Pretty good rock, definitely. And they, they tweaked everything. So you gotta compare the new one, which is the Master Blender, is Trudian Branca. And then there's the other one from the previous Master Distiller. Um, so I definitely like trying and comparing those two. Now you got Goslings. Then down here, we start off with the Caribbean rum from Haiti, right? San Beni benevolence right saint benevolence this is the caribbean rum and this is the rum claren right so the five year rum which i don't understand how they call it rum did they use molasses like what is it i gotta do some more research on this one guys i really gotta do some more research should be back here somewhere but definitely they consider it a rum and not a claren then they got the claren and then cajona i have never tried cajona before but everyone tells me i should get the cajona so people say that's the best daiquiri they've ever had so definitely guys cajona this is the key there's many different versions based on every different type of um every different type of key that they have the vintage keys that they have there so basically they have different different ones right based on just the, that strain so each rum is based on the strain so why the brand is cajona right agricole um hawaiian agricole rum type of key in his key right got some of the cheap monkeys here cheap jamaican appleton rum bar um rear nephew blackwell cruisian so malabu's here you gotta run past that stuff hard truth coconut rum we tried that one in our review check out that review i did with sergio um yeah we did a, we had a little bottle we tried it out i don't think sergio liked it at all <laughs> but um check out that review and you see the other coconut rums we tried then there's captain morgan i don't know what mirror mirrors never seen that thing before pretty bottle though something you know these are the things that you give to non-rum people that they like the bottle and stuff like that oh uh, what well, i don't know about that then there's clement i don't know what this is clement coconut liqueur then there's the cook and sweeney brugel 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 uh, Ron Barcelo. I've had, I've tried all of them at the last um, event. I think I have, I have this one at home, but I tried some of these at the last event. And then um, these guys, no problem. Bombada, Bombada Rum. I think this is an 18 here. Wow. So you got an 18 here and an 8 here. Price difference is very minimal. Like, is this, I, I'm pretty sure when I talked to them, they said it was a true 8 statement. So. I don't know how they got this 18 and the 8 for such a close price, but definitely um, I tried both of them. Um, I think I tried the 8 and the 5. I don't think they got the 18 when I tried it at the place down there, but definitely great story. All the bottles are shaped like a cannon. Um, very, you know, decent room. Decent room. And for the price, um, true 8 statement or not, for the price, I think it's a pretty good price it might be price a bit high but 18 i don't know how they got that one 60 bucks definitely i'll pick that one up try it maybe they use like more spent barrels but the 18 seems a bit lighter in color which is kind of how they do it sometimes if you use a spent barrel you can get it kind of cheaper and a spent barrel 18 you know not bad stuff oak and cane never tried that one before ah this and gold rum where is this from is it america florida rum oak and cane wow okay Age in American oak treated with subtle hints of Florida orange peel. Okay, so I guess they, you know, slightly spiced to some extent. Age and, you know, it's a pretty decent looking bottle. $33. A bottle I could consider picking up. Then you got a five year for 41 Then you got the, the Silver Ray. 
I've, I have one of these already at home, but uh, I think I have a, a chocolate or something my wife got me. I gotta, I gotta review that, but I got the old bottle before they did this nice presentation here. I just got from Rio McCoy, the five year, they sent me a bottle. Uh, I won it online on some competition or something, so definitely gonna follow up with you guys on that. You got the Run Abuelo. You have up to the 12 here. I really have not drunk much run. Oh, uh, any, I have like one sample of Run Abuelo. This is a Run Medellin. Yo, guys, these guys have so much rum. I run out of breath. All right, but then we got some of the cheaper stuff down here. Single prop, Dead Man's Fingers, Rum Heaven, maybe coconut water. I gotta try this one. It's only 21%. So more of a liqueur-ish. Yeah, liqueur, but they call it liqueur. Coconut rum liqueur. Caribbean rum with coconut liqueur, 21%. Pirate Bay, I had a Pirate Bay one time. Struggled to drink it, man. Then Crucian rum, Crucian rum. Fusion is cheap stuff that you just mix typically for me you know you had some sprite on it you just chill it right then the tandoori buyers lebon i definitely have to review some cachesa because i do have this at home i saw this one time i should have picked it up well, i still could pick it up it's only 22 dollars right now the big bottle is 27 dollars in lebon some other cachaca is here uh, what is this pisco reserva all right look at it look at that that looks like some sort of like ancient head of some kind product of dominion of origin what the hell does that mean chili pisco de chili huh it's tough to even get out the, the case there but definitely something that looks pretty interesting there all right and then below is some aguardentes there's an agua dentes on the bottom not a big agua dente fan but they got a full line of here on the bottom all right guys and up on the top what do we got on the top boom all right we got um diplomatico all the expenses of everything over 100 bucks kind of they are stuck up there all right they got some diplomatico rare stuff they got some facundo they got the um wow they have the run del berrito the five star which is thirteen hundred dollars look at it there thirteen hundred dollars of that stuff man they got some barcelo imperia wow they got 175 i've never seen that one before the barcelo imperia for 175 bucks they got some run carupana for 350 some Zafra, wow, they got some real rare stuff down there, up on the top there. Andreas, I've never seen that one before. Over $2,000. And they still have some of the past collections. They got the 94 and the 99. And I see they got this summer really. They got a summer really for only 270. Never seen a summer really so cheap. It's quite a price there. Alright guys, and also they have uh they have a run admiral running down there. 90 bucks for a royal oak. And they have some plantations, some Fiji. Very good collection. 2009 Foursquare, one of the best drinks of Foursquare I've ever tried. Uh, yeah, the Plantation Fiji, I have those, I gotta review them. It's taking so much time. They got the Monkeys, the Pot Still Monkeys, Pot Finished, and the Non Finished, and they got the Goslings. So, definitely, guys, you gotta check out Vintage Liquids. That's the rum collection. Alright guys, so that's it. Jamie here checking in from Ready Set Rum. I run through everything at Vintage Liquor stores. I will get you some more reviews soon. Definitely they got some good stuff down here that I need to pick up. I was just staring down here at the Don Q, the port finish. Sorry, sherry finish, which was only $52 here. I've seen it in other places. Pretty certain it was a lot more. They got some good prices. Alright guys, ready set rum. Coming at you once again, taking you around South Florida, one liquor store at a time. Cheers.